The physical world we see is formed and controlled by the spiritual world, and as such, God has given governance and spiritual authority to His prophets, who govern their prophetic office and have access to and dominion over physical activities. With the ability to foretell the future, the destiny of nations, and the leaders who will govern those nations, seeing the private hidden things pertaining to their governance, we see this exemplified in Elijah in 2 Kings 6 verse 12. When he would hear the secret military strategies spoken of in King Aram's bedroom, this divine energy to see and hear private happenings in the quarters of high-ranking national leaders is an ability still honed by a prophet in his prophetic office, given the mandate by God to govern over nations and kingdoms. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa is one such prophet in whom God has entrusted with the governing power and unhindered clarity of sight over nations and kingdoms in this world. Under the divine instruction of the Lord Jesus, Prophets Emmanuel and Ruth Makandiwa established the Life Haven Sanctuary as a place where visitors come from most parts of the world to experience the tangible presence of the Lord Jesus in a manner unlike any other place on earth. A place where they shared divine energy with each one of the guests, an open portal to the fullness of the presence of God. As such, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa takes the liberty to unveil prophecies of international magnitude for the benefits of the various visiting internationals from across the world. And on this day, in the presence of visiting guests from the United States of America and many other nations, he delivered a prophecy concerning issues that would affect the soon-to-be-held presidential elections in the United States of America. On the 26th of February 2016, whilst at the Life Haven Sanctuary, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa gave several prophecies and amongst them he briefly unveiled a prophecy concerning an incident that would soon affect the political climate in the United States of America. Let's listen closely to what the man of God prophesied. I was praying even for the Americans as well. I saw one of the promising candidates being rushed to the hospital before the day of election. Is it a compromise? Is it a foul play? Is she able to survive the collapse? Even if she is to survive, the people now begin to doubt whether she will be able to represent them well because of the health condition. So these are issues that will be happening outside and I see a lot of things happening. Precisely 198 days later, after giving this prophecy on the 11th of September 2016, Hillary Clinton, a promising candidate for the presidency of the United States of America, collapsed at a 9-11 memorial ceremony at the Memorial Plaza in New York City. On the days that followed, news broke out from various media agencies relating the ordeal in exactly the same way it was foreseen and prophesied by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Is she able to survive the collapse? Fox News Insider reported Hillary Clinton collapses after early exit from 9-11 memorial service. The Independent reported Hillary Clinton collapse. Sky News had the story, Clinton cancels trip after pneumonia collapse. The Sun wrote, collapsing Clinton. The Global News had the report, Hillary Clinton collapse. Is she able to survive the collapse? On the 11th of September 2016, Fox News posted a video of Hillary Clinton's collapse on their official YouTube channel. And the title read, video appears to show Clinton collapse as she leaves event. Both presidential candidates were at ground zero this morning to remember, but Hillary Clinton did leave the event early. Rick Leventhal was there to tell us more. Hillary Clinton was among the numerous signatories who gathered at the Memorial Plaza for the ceremony today, but she left well before the others, more than three hours before the ceremony was scheduled to end. She appeared to be medically, uh, have a medical issue and had to be taken out of the ground zero area. You can see uh, her unsteady on her feet. Her knees appear to buckle as she steps off the curb. And twice it appears that the people around her, her protective detail had to help her 
into that van, which then took off. As Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa engaged in his principal lifestyle of prayer, he began to pray for the Americans. And as he was in prayer, he prophetically saw one of the promising candidates being rushed to the hospital. I was praying even for the Americans as well. I saw one of the promising candidates being rushed to the hospital. A candidate, according to the Cambridge Dictionary, is a person who is competing to get a job or elected position. As given by the man of God, there were presidential elections being held in the United States of America. And at the time of the prophecy, on the 26th of February, there was no indication as to who would be the promising candidate, as there were a total of five candidates, Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Bernie Sanders, and Hillary Clinton. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he saw one of the promising candidates being rushed to the hospital. As precisely prophetically described by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, on the 11th of September, Hillary Clinton left an annual 9-11 memorial ceremony attended by high-ranking government, business and industry personnel hours before it ended, breaching his security protocol due to a medical emergency. The Daily Mail reported, agents are supposed to wait for a car before they take away a protected individual. As shown in the video, Hillary Clinton seen leaning against a bollard before the motorcade draws up. They appeared to have rushed her departure, which meant her lead agent had to leave her side to open the van door, which is also against protocol. She was videotaped rushing to her security detail to wait for her transportation, and when it arrived, then they helped her enter the van. She was visibly lifeless, having to receive assistance from those who were near her. After to which she then collapsed on entry into the van and had to be carried into her transportation vehicle. She was then rushed off due to her collapsing incident and the noticeable medical emergency. After this incident when she collapsed, Sky News reported that she cancelled trips to California to attend fundraisers and a television talk show on Monday the 12th and Tuesday the 13th of September. This collapsing incident, as prophesied by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, occurred before the United States Presidential Election Day on the 8th of November 2016. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa further prophesied that this collapsing incident would be one of the reasons that would stir doubt in the hearts of the American people whether Hillary Clinton would be able to represent them well because of her health condition. Even if she is to survive, the people now begin to doubt whether she will be able to represent them well because of the health condition. To further confirm the prophecy by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, Hillary Clinton mentioned the number of days that were remaining until the election day as she was showing signs of sickness at one of her campaign events. Let us listen to her as she mentions 63 days to go. Time I think about Trump, I get allergic. <laughs> Boy, we have 63 days to go. Thank you. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> well, you just heard the next vice president, didn't you? <coughs> <coughs> 
People now begin to doubt whether she will be able to represent them well because of the health condition. On the 11th of September, the Washington Post had this headline, Hillary Clinton's health just became a real issue in the presidential campaign. On the 14th of September, 2016, the Business Insider had the report. Here's what voters think about Hillary Clinton's health. On the 15th of September, the Huffington Post reported 39% of Americans currently believe that Clinton is in good enough physical condition to effectively serve as president for the next four years. According to the poll, a nearly 38% say she isn't in good condition and 23% said they are unsure. As prophesied by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, the collapsing incident would make the Americans question whether she would be able to represent them in light of her current health condition. The U.S. News had this headline, Sickness and Secrecy, Clinton's Health and the U.S. History. CNN released a report on the 14th of September detailing what they knew about Clinton's health. In it, they detailed the presence of a transverse sinus venous thrombosis, which is a blood clot in the brain, and seasonal pollen allergies to hypothyroidism. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa then ended by prophesying that these are the issues that will be happening outside and he sees a lot of things happening. So these are issues that will be happening outside and I see a lot of things happening. By outside, he was re-emphasizing that this ordeal would not involve the country of Zimbabwe, but rather another country outside the borders of Zimbabwe. Based on the prophecy given by Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, here is a summary of what he prophesied. Number one, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa distinctly said, as he was praying even for the Americans as well, he used the word as well because on the this very day, he had just come from delivering a prophecy concerning the Heathrow Airport, which was later fulfilled. Number two, displaying his ease with which he flows in the prophetic. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that he saw one of the promising candidate. At the time of the prophecy, there were five promising candidates running for the presidency of the United States of America. Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubinio, Bernie Sanders, and Hillary Clinton. From amongst these candidates, he was able to prophetically single out and identify the one promising candidate. Number three, this promising candidate, Prophet Emmanuel Makandi was singled out and identified was being rushed to the hospital. The rushing off implies that it was going to be a state of emergency for this promising candidate to go to the hospital. It was going to be done rapidly. Number four, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa clearly prophesied that he saw this promising candidate being rushed to the hospital before the day of election, meaning he saw this promising candidate being rushed off to the hospital due to a medical emergency before the Americans had decided who their president-elect was going to be. Number five, to further clarify what he had insight into prophetically, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the promising candidate he saw was a woman when he asked if she would be able to survive the collapse. Number six, as he continued to display his mastery over his prophetic office, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that the promising woman candidate would suffer a collapse and this collapse would threaten her life. Hence, he presented a prophetic inquiry showing the versatility of his prophetic eye that can see issues presented to him in multi-dimensional facets. He presented a rhetoric and asked whether she would survive the collapse, meaning it was going to be a life threatening collapse. As reported by media houses all over the world, Hillary Clinton left the 9-11 memorial ceremony held on the 9th of September before it ended after a medical emergency that would threaten her existence. Number seven, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophetically presented the heart of the case and declared that even if she survives, meaning it would be a battle for life. And after surviving, people would question her ability to 
represent them well based upon their concern over her health condition. As reported by various media houses, Hillary Clinton's health was a huge deterrent in her political campaign. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied that Hillary Clinton would be hospitalized and judging by the severity of her collapse and failure to attend her engagements in California on the following Monday the 12th and Tuesday the 13th of September, it becomes very apparent that she was hospitalized within these two days or otherwise afterwards. Being an individual running for presidency, sensitive information such as being hospitalized whilst campaigning has the power to jeopardize candidacy for presidency and therefore such information is not released to the public. In addition, high-ranking national leaders do not divulge information pertaining to their health status lest it undermines the confidence the people have in the nation towards them being competent leaders. Please take note, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa did not prophesy about Mr. Trump winning the elections in the United States of America, but rather he painted a well-defined image covered with the mysterious veneer of the mechanism behind the electoral outcome. Wisdom is known by her children. Of the two candidates who remained in the race to become President of the United States of America, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied who between the two would lose the election. By expressly prophesying one of the major reasons why Hillary Clinton would lose the race to become President, which was her health condition. For God to give us a man whom he has allowed to see beyond what the mind and heart can apprehend is a priceless gift to be cherished. A man with unrivaled spiritual vigor and yet displays in his flesh a heavenly dynamic of humility and forthrightness. In Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, God has compacted his heavenly will and design for humanity, expressing and communicating his voice distinctly and clearly clearly to give us direction and comfort. When the elections for the presidency of the United States of America were finally held on the 8th of November 2016, Mr. Trump won the election to become the president-elect. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa continues to pray for the president of America. To God be the glory. Having gone through the prophecy and analyzed everything, one wonders if Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa didn't know who was going to win. Hmm, food for thought, considering he was very clear about who was going to lose.